What is up my friends? Welcome back to the channel. This is not a vlog. No sir, I am pumped up. You should be pumped up too because this is going to be unlike any other windshield video I think you've ever seen. I'm in the unique position to give you a real world example of what the wind buffeting sounds like. And we'll get into measurements later, but this is a six and a half inch Memphis Shades and I did some testing on the highway and I'll play that in a little bit. But you see my windshield here is a couple inches below my nose. My nose is here, my microphone is here. It's only two inch difference. I measured, it's two inches. So because of that, you're going to hear what the wind buffeting sounds like on the highway from both windshields because I've recorded the entire ride out to Old Glory Harley and the whole ride back. I'm gonna record that as well. So I'm gonna splice it in and it's gonna be awesome. So stick around, cue the intro. Enough of that intro. I am so excited and I'm so happy to be bringing you along. Thanks for checking out the video. I hope you learned something from it. And anyway, the uh, I've had this windshield on here. This is, this is the six and a half inch Memphis Shades. I think I mentioned that. But I've had it on here for 10,000 miles and almost two years. And it's been great, don't get me wrong. The stock one, I just get all that wind on my face and that's, uh, that's just not what I wanted. So I very quickly upgraded to this one. I found that I was still getting some wind buffeting like right around here in this area. So I decided to order the eight and a half inch and give it a shot. The proper, from what I've read, the proper measurement for your windshield should be at or slightly below the tip of your nose. Now I'm 5'8", so let's get into that real quick, okay? I'm 5'8", I have a short inseam of 30 inches, and I have kind of a long torso. I can't quite flat foot this bike stock height, but I'm good enough, and the bars seem to fit me okay, but I'm just getting too much wind buffeting even from this windshield. So we're gonna upgrade. And this is a bumpy ass section of road. Let's try to scoot over on a smooth part. Precise. Love it. Ha <laughs> ha. I said this wasn't going to be a vlog, and here I am rambling along. Shut up, John. All right, let's go inside. And here we are. Jason doesn't want to be on camera. That's his hand. There's a guy in the background. I'll blur his face out later. But we got rider foot pegs for my wife's bike. She's got a Sportster 1200 Custom. I'm gonna do an install video on those later. But here's what we came to get, and he's opening the box. He's in frame a lot. This is gonna be a lot of work to edit him out. Oh, he's good, okay, he wants to be on YouTube, awesome. All right, Jason's unboxing it for us. Brand new, out of the box, eight and a half inch Memphis Shades, recurve windshield, dark smoke tint. Am I right? I'm right, he's nodding his head. He really doesn't wanna be on YouTube. Anyway, uh, this is it. So we're going to take it out to the bike and install it after Jason carefully packages it back up. So what this is going to do, that, that kick up, yeah. right where that kick up is. Yeah, I've got the six and a half inch on there gonna now. It's going to take that turbulence that you're feeling and, mm -hmm. and it's going to kick it over top. Yeah. Okay. There's the receipt. We're already paid. Time to hit the road after we put this thing on the bike. All right, in order to be expeditious with my time, we're gonna do this here in the parking lot. Step one, remove this whole rigmarole here. And you do only need one tool for this. Yeah, there it is, see? It's a, a T27 bit with a socket wrench. And I'm gonna take this bit off of here. Easy peasy. And then this should rotate around nice and easy. And that'll pop off there. That's the Rick Rack mount. I did a review on that. Great little mount. I'm gonna pop these washers off and then we're going to come over here and loosen these two bolts I'm just with... wow they're pretty loose maybe i didn't tighten them up all the way last time oh this one's tight oh yeah that sounds good in the background doesn't it all right well, not yet he's a little more persuasion now if you notice on the new windshield these are all open so you don't have to fully remove the bolts on the fairing to get the old windshield off. Ta-da! Pulled it right off. See? Totally naked. 
And now the new one slots right in here. You just kind of peel the uh, front fairing there piece off just a little bit, just a little bit, just enough to get it to drop down solidly in place. And we still have our bolts here. How cool is that? So since we didn't remove them all the way, I'll just get them sort of snug with my fingers here. And we'll use my calibrated torque arm to give it one ugga dugga. Okay, maybe two. You don't need to over tighten them. There we go. So snuggle do. Check them periodically. That seems snug, snug. Then I can just reinstall my mount here. Perfect. There we go. And then rotate it out. And that's about where I put my GoPro for recording the view of me. So now, the new windshield is solidly mounted. Look at that. I love it when a plan comes together. You can see that it's about two inches shorter. I've lined it up pretty much where it was gonna go and you can see the difference. So now with the new windshield installed, we're gonna do what he's doing. Let's get on the bike. All right, first impressions. I'm doing about the speed limit here, 45. And boy, you can really tell that extra two inches that's what she said. <laughs> oh man. Anyway, this is pretty awesome. It, it definitely feels like the wind is a little bit higher. I am not getting nearly as much buffeting on my helmet. Go, 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 go. I don't want to stop. Hey, hey, look at that. So the windshield is definitely at the height of my nose. So I'm looking a little bit more through it than I did on my last one. I can see through this one. Maybe you can see through it too. It does not appear to be a ton of distortion or anything, so it's really clear. Very happy with that. And it's kind of windy today, so I apologize if some wind noise makes it through my post-production magic. But them's the brakes. I definitely noticed myself slouching less, even already, just after a mile or so. That's pretty awesome. I will take that. To avoid the wind, usually I duck down like this, but now when I duck down like this, Hell, the rain won't even hit me. So those are my first impressions of the Memphis Shades six and a half versus eight and a half windshield. I'm a huge fan. I am looking through it a little more than I like though. I do prefer a shorter windshield just so I'm not looking through it, but I'll just have to, I'll just have to sit up straighter, I guess, get better rider posture. Next step, get on the highway, test this baby out at like 70 again. So you have a real back-to-back -back comparison same day, same weather pattern, just opposite direction. So this is a test at just about 70 miles an hour. This is what the six and a half inch windscreen sounds like. This is the kind of wind buffeting you get. That's what the wind noise sounds like with this new windshield. And I'm a little bit slouched right now. If I sit straight up, my nose is level with the windshield, and hell, it, it, it is so much less buffeting. I can feel the wind bubble starts right about here, which it started here before. So that's a few inches of difference. The recurve is doing its job. So this is a test at just about 70 miles an hour. This is what the six and a half inch windscreen sounds like. This is the kind of wind buffeting you get. That's what the wind noise sounds like with this new windshield. And I'm a little bit slouched right now. If I sit straight up, my nose is level with the windshield. And hell, it, it, it is so much less buffeting. I can feel the wind bubble starts right about here, which it started here before. So that's a few inches of difference. The recurve is doing its job. Wow, 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 wow. What a difference, my friends. This thing is money. Oh yeah, I can still feel the wind hitting my face a little bit, but it's nothing like it was. And side note, my, uh, my stereo got louder. <laughs> There's less wind turbulence back here, so my fairing speakers are a little bit more efficient, I guess. You know, they don't have to pump as loud, so I can hear them. Now, I forgot to mention it earlier, I'm a huge fan of the recurve windshields because it doesn't have to be as tall to bump the, uh, the wind pocket up over your helmet. So you can look above it more 
which I'm a huge fan of. I had a nine inch and then a 12 inch recurve windshield uh, clockworks on the Vaquero that I owned for a few years. But uh, on the Street Glide, I went with Memphis Shades. It's a little bit thicker. So this thing is this thing is thicker than the stock one. It's thicker than the clockwork one that I've noticed. Uh, it's just a real stout piece. And you know, you watched all my videos when the cicadas were out. I was hitting bugs left and right with that thing. And this will, uh, this one will take a beating. Let me tell you. Well, we are home sweet home. Got here safely. New windshield is awesome. That two extra inches of height really means that I'm looking through it a little bit more, but because there's no distortion, it, I found it very easy to just see everything. And then the, the wind pocket being so much higher up really made things a lot easier, a lot more comfortable for me. So if you're gonna tour, I highly recommend the Memphis Shades Recurve because of that extra curve on the side that I showed you earlier, on the side profile rather, it bumps that wind pocket way up high compared to a, a taller clear windshield. So. I like that a lot, and I'm a huge fan of this one. I will leave links in the description below to the Memphis Shades windshields that I demoed in this uh, video. They are affiliate account links, so if you do purchase through them, it helps the channel out a little bit. No extra cost to you, should you choose to help the channel out. I appreciate it. Also, if you found this video informative, don't forget to hit that like button. It's right down here. And if you like what I do here, go peruse the channel, see what else I come up with. Uh, leave, a, leave a subscription. They're free. I appreciate it. And until I see you in the next video, or you see me rather, um, have a great day. Keep the shiny side up. Check on your family. Check on your friends. I'm still stealing other people's outros. <laughs> so <laughs> y'all have a good day. Bye. Coffee, 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 coffee. Are you still watching? Go click on one of these links.